What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Monday, May 3rd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, guys, we have an eight game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Lonzo Ball from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Golden State Warriors who have the 10th de worst defense overall and they have the 11th worst defense defending opposing point guards. Lonzo Ball has averaged 32.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 62, 38, and 62 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 39, 31, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 35.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 7,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 more on DraftKings. I like this pick because Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game, and he scored 33, 34, and 34 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Warriors. Now he's playing heavy minutes, and he's playing well, so I like Lonzo Ball here versus the Golden State Warriors. Okay, another point guard that I like is Killian Hayes from the Detroit Pistons playing the Orlando Magic, who have the fifth worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points defending opposing point guards. Killian Hayes, he scored 31, 23, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 29, and 23 minutes. I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more in this one, gets you five times value or more. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 800 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 213.5 points scored in this game. He's got a great matchup. He's playing a bunch of minutes. So I like Killian Hayes here versus the Orlando Magic. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I'm going to give you a couple value plays here. I think they're great value plays on DraftKings, and they're both playable on FanDuel as well. I like Emmanuel Quickly from the New York Knicks playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who have the 11th worst defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards, Emmanuel Quickly He's averaged 18.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 20 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate, but he scored 23, 22, and 22 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 22, 16, and 21 minutes. He's projected at 19.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 4,000 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 less on DraftKings. 
and he scored 31 fantasy points in his last game versus the Grizzlies. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217.5 points scored in this game. So I like Emmanuel quickly here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Another shooting guard I like is Patty Mills from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Utah Jazz, who have a good defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. Patty Mills, he's averaged 18.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate, and he scored 25, 18, and 6 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 21, and 15 minutes. He's projected at 17.9 fantasy points here tonight, and that's five times value. He's only 3,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. So I like Patty Mills here versus the Utah Jazz. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I'm going to take a gamble on this player here tonight. I like Danny Green from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Chicago Bulls, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing small forwards. Danny Green has averaged 22.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He scored 27, 16, and 18 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 20, and 25 minutes. He's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.6 times value. He's 3,700 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 more on DraftKings. He scored 25, 23, and 23 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Bulls, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 215.5 points scored in this game, so I like Danny Green here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, another small forward I like is Norman Powell from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they give up the 13th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Norman Powell has averaged 27.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 36, 25, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 33, and 36 minutes. So he's playing a ton of minutes, he's been productive, and he's projected at 28.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value, and he's 5,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 600 more on DraftKings. I like this pick because Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game. So we got a high scoring game. And then Norman Powell scored 42, 34, 20, 33, and 22 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Hawks. So I like Norman Powell here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I like Lori Markadin from the Chicago Bulls playing the Philadelphia 76ers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards, but Lori Markadin has averaged 23.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 24 and 21 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 22, 
in 25 minutes. He's projected at 21.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 more on DraftKings. He scored 30 and 25 fantasy points in his last two games versus the 76ers. So I like Laurie Markkinen here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, another power forward that I like is Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors playing the New Orleans Pelicans, who have the eighth worst defense overall, and they give up the 12th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Draymond Green has averaged 32.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. He scored 36, 41, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 36, and 28 minutes. He's projected at 33.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 36 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 7,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. Now, Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game, and Draymond Green has scored 30, 26, and 53 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Pelicans. So I like Draymond Green here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Jonas Valanciunas from the Memphis Grizzlies playing the New York Knicks, who have a good defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Jonas Valanciunas has averaged 36.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 44, 41, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 30, 26, and 24 minutes. He's projected at 36.2 fantasy points here tonight. On FanDuel, that's 5.4 times value. He's only 6,700 FanDuel salary, but he has 1,200 more on DraftKings, so I love that FanDuel price. He scored 50, 36, 38, 30, and 41 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Knicks. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217.5 points scored in this game, so I like Jonas Valanciunas, especially on FanDuel here versus the New York Knicks. Okay, another center that I like is Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the ninth worst defense overall, and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing centers. Clint Capella has averaged 40.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 39, 34, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 16, and 24 minutes. So we just gotta hope he can get close or over 30 minutes here tonight. And he's projected at 38.5 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score you over 40 fantasy points, get you five times value or more. He's 8,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 500 more on DraftKings. He scored 56, 9, 42, and 60 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Trailblazers. So if you throw out that nine, he's got excellent player versus team history. So I like Clint Capella here versus the Portland Trailblazers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.